Hello everyone, welcome back. Another episode here of uh, Red Rover Ride Along. Ugh. It's been a while. Oh yeah. Let's get going here. Oh man. Sorry if I haven't, uh, sorry if I have not, uh, hold on, I gotta check if the video's going on here. Okay, sorry about that. It's been a while since I did a ride along video, so I'm struggling a little bit here. Yeah, so it's been a while since I did a ride along video. So sorry if I'm a little rusty. So, anyways, uh, I've been on vacation. I don't know if y'all noticed that. You see some of my previous videos, y'all. Probably I figured that out. Still got the suspension seat post on here. And the front fork is on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It might rain, so I'm gonna make this ride a little quick. It's a Sunday, so I just wanna ride before uh, uh, it rains and uh, get a good riding session in here. really bumpy right here. Oh, God. Uh, it rained last night, which is nice because, man, it hasn't rained here in a while, so. There's a car to the left coming here. Maybe I should have turned uh, my, my rear light on, but that's all right. I think they can see me. One of the other reasons I haven't been, uh, I haven't been uh, riding in the summer is because it's so damn hot that uh, riding in the summer is like unbearable, especially with the uh, body armor. Oh, it is windy today. It's windy today. So that's one reason why. Another reason is, you know, you think you got all this time. You know, kids are out. Yay, I could ride my bike all day. I don't have to take them to school. But no, you, now you got to watch them. So now you got to watch the kids. So anyways, it's good to ride the bike again. Good to bike. Good to uh, ride the uh, Red Rover. Oh man. Now I usually don't recommend doing this, but I got I got a I got a new phone. I switch over from uh, AT and T to Sprint, and I get Hulu, free Hulu, even though it comes with advertisement. That's all right. That's another reason why I'm the rider the bike. I've been. I've been on the couch watching Hulu, but uh, you know, you get it free, so no biggie. Anyways, so, so I got free Hulu, that's kind of what I've been watching, and uh, 
So, so I got uh, a new phone here, and uh, so one of the Sprint salesmen turned me on to uh, turned me on to uh, these Power Beats, and uh, they're pretty decent. I don't usually recommend putting on uh, headphones because you, you still want to hear things coming, which I still can hear things, but not as not as clearly or loudly as before, but it's kind of nice to listen to some music while you're riding your bike. Now, the, that's it's kind of nice because, you, can, you know, you're riding, you get to listen to your music. Uh, I got Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime also includes the uh, Amazon Music, and so I get, I don't get all the songs, but I get enough where I can make a playlist and play it offline, so, now the drawback is I have to look around more, I can still hear the cars, but not as much, so I gotta move my head around quite often. The other reason why I haven't been riding my bike during the summer is uh, obviously I gotta watch the kids, but also having a chest mount works really best when I wear the body armor. This uh, high visibility vest that you're looking at. Because it, it's a really stable chest area. Get my hand signal here. All right. I just tuned up the bike, or I I checked all the uh, bolts, tightened the bolts and everything, and straightened out the uh, steering, the handlebar to the wheel. It was a little crooked, so but the summer is very humid out here, very hot and. Wearing this high visibility body armor, I gotta do a sink check. Look how uh, look how look they got the weeds growing so tall here. It's ridiculous. Uh. All right, I'll be right back. Is uh, it's so uh, it's so humid and hot that uh, wearing body armor like really overheats me, and I don't want to I don't want to get a heat stroke. I have been riding the bike; it's just without the body armor. But I don't usually do the video. If I do, you know, I gotta have sound, and the uh, the way my chest rig is set up, you know. It helps to have the chest mount, so. Anyways. Oh, really windy. It is overcast today. It also might rain, that's why I'm, uh, I'm riding, uh, I'm gonna do a quick run around the neighborhood. I'm headed to the clubhouse, of course. They usually have uh, granola bars, or sometimes they have pretzels. They definitely have water, so I go there to rehydrate. Oh yeah. Oh. Anyways, 
kids in about two more weeks. Uh, kids are gonna go back to school and I'll be riding the bike again on a regular basis. And so far, if anybody was wondering, I have over 2,000 miles on the uh, red uh, on the red rover. Some of the maintenance things that I've done on the uh, on the bike. I think I've already changed the uh, I changed the rear disc brakes first, and then I changed the front disc brakes. So those are the maintenance things that I've done. The rear tire, the rear tire is going to wear out because that's where most of your weight and the motor, the electric motor is. So that's going to wear out first. So, what I'll, uh, I guess what I got to do is either rotate the tires. Oh, squirrel! Damn squirrels, I'm telling you, they're, <laughs> they're there to cause accidents, man. So I'm gonna probably, uh, ideally you want the new tire in the back because that's what uh, gives you traction. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get a new tire or if I'm just gonna rotate the tires first. I think about rotating the tires, but I have to admit the tire is balding. This person's just stopping here. So the tire is starting to ball. It's uh, where the two tires kind of meet the, uh, the seam of the tire, where they meet in the middle, it's down to that point. So I'm probably going to uh, put on a new tire, most likely, because this tire is worn out. So about 2,000 miles is probably the limit of the tire on the red Rover anyway. They're not that knobby, you know, the, these, these juggernauts, they're, what are they, 24 or 26? Probably 24. 24 by uh, 4 inch. If you take the total size after you've played it, it's actually a 26, I think 26 and a quarter or something like that. Or not 26, 28, 28 inches actually. It's a little bit more than 28 inches. So it's pretty big. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna head towards the right a little bit. Ooh. My mechanical brakes work fine for me. So, so basically, uh, so basically, those are the maintenance things. I haven't changed the cables. I haven't, I haven't done anything yet to the bike, and I, I don't think it needs it. And just because it runs fine, the electrical system still works. I have ridden this through rain and mud, uh, off road, long distance, short distance. You know, and, and and that's just a Red Rover. You, know, you got to keep in mind. I also own the Red Mini, which I ride. I think that has a thousand miles on it. I also have the Red Mini Step Through, which I use that to take my youngest to uh, elementary school on a on a weekday every on the weekdays. So five days a week during the school year. So I ride that. I mostly throttle, so that's just to get her to school. And it's really convenient because, man, you take your kids to school, you know, elementary school, traffic, the traffic takes you a long time. I mean, we don't live that far. A little bit, it takes about half an hour to walk, about maybe 10 to 15 minutes to uh, ride a bike. And so, a lot easier. See, I'll turn my right light on. So I turned the uh, one of the headlights on. I should have turned on the rear rear tail light. That's all right. I 
I'm pretty sure they can see me with the high vis. Uh, so I'm listening to the music. Sorry if I uh, get a little distracted. I have to look around more. I always have to turn my head a little to see what's on my left side. I'm just gonna go through. Some kids fishing out here at the lake, the local lake. It's been really dry. Uh, dry uh, June, July. Yeah, July has been really hot, really dry. Just had some rain last night. A lot of clouds here, so the sun's not beating on me so hard. But uh, it's probably gonna rain here shortly. So I'm gonna make my my little run here before it rains. So as soon as school starts again, I'll definitely be riding the bike more often. I'll probably be working out more. One of my relatives is getting married, so got to start, you know, working out, losing weight. Can't look like a fat slog, you know. Want to look good, keep up the appearance. So yeah, so the bike's still going. Uh, nothing major has happened to it. No failures yet. The throttle still works. The cramp buster still works. The lighting system I have on this, the red power bike's light still works. My lighting system still works. My rear lighting still works. The battery still works. But then again, I got four batteries, so the battery's not an issue for me. But all the electrical components still work. All the mechanical stuff still works. The chain still works. The gear, the derailleur still works. So I've had this for a year and a half uh, with the Rat Rover over 2,000 miles. So, not bad. Although, on my mileage thing, it says, it says, uh, One thousand one hundred forty thousand miles. So one thousand one hundred forty miles on it. But I reduced the wheel size to fourteen inch to do a controller hack. It doesn't really, you know, you're not gonna go, you're not gonna go, you know, fifty miles an hour if your max speed limit is twenty five. What it does do is it, it gives you, it won't cut off right away. It'll keep giving you power. And that'll give you enough power to pedal to go beyond 25 miles an hour. So that's why I do that. But the downside, the downside is you have to, uh, the mileage, it goes by half. So if you ride like 100 miles, it's only gonna keep track at uh, 50 miles. So basically, it's going to show only half your mileage that you rode the bike on, on the odometer. Just a little throttle here to keep me going. It's still on pedal six, five on the seventh gear. That way it just doesn't burst me out or I feel awkward when pedaling and controlling the uh, the bike. So the bike itself, uh, you know, without any accessories, weighs like 68 pounds. That's battery included. If you take the battery off, maybe, maybe 60 pounds or 59 pounds or something. But when I have, I have some accessories. I have my emergency kit in the back, which also includes my charger. So, you know, the, the bike weighs quite a bit, it almost, I don't, I didn't bring my backpack, I didn't bring my backpack, but uh, if I brought my backpack and all the, all the stuff that I usually take, 
So, you know, I bring my iPad, my battery charger, my portable battery charger, uh, and some other stuff. It, and sometimes water. Water weighs quite a bit. You'll be surprised. Uh, you can get this bike easily up to like 90 to 100 pounds. So we're finally at the uh, clubhouse here. And what I'm going to do is I got the building new parking, more parking at the clubhouse, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop by the clubhouse. They usually have vanilla bar, some water. I'll take a quick drink of water, grab a vanilla bar, check the uh, weather real quick, see what situation I'm at. Alright, pedal assist three gear, three, third gear. Alright, that was fun. That was some people out here. Uh, try to see if I could get by. Thank you.